Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will be covering one of the other topic of the Azure Key Vault and this is also part of AZ204 certification. So in this video, we will focus on securing the Azure app settings with the Key Vault uh, reference and then uh, how do you use this Key Vault reference and retrieve the values in the runtime. So this video will be interesting and useful in your Azure studies as well as in your organization if you're trying to implement this. So come without delay, let's get started. All right, so I have logged into the portal and then I'm going to go to existing key vault. And this is the key vault that I have. I'm going to go to the secret and this is the secret that we have, right? So this secret has a value and it has two versions. Okay, the current version and the older version. Now, if you go inside this, this is the final URL, okay? Uh, it will have the URL slash the secret name and then the version number. Now let's open up the application that I already hosted. This is what the uh, same web API that we saw in the previous video of the Azure Key Vault also. Okay, so here I will show you one by one how things works. Okay, so we just uh, try to retrieve the value. Okay, of this second API and that's showing us secret color. Okay, so where is this endpoint? If you go to key vault, it is very simple. It is just trying to read a value from the app settings. Secret underscore my secret key. So here secret color is the value that has been read. And since it is deployed, it is from the portal with mean the production thing. Now for the key vault uh, reference syntax, the key vault reference syntax is these two syntax. Okay. You can say the key vault name and the secret uh, version or you can give the complete url okay there are two syntax you can use both the thing uh, both is going to result in the same value so whatever we just copied let's keep it aside and then let's go and explore a few more concepts in the azure web app so i go to this environment variable right now the application is reading from the application setting dot production dot json okay that is why you got secret color now what I'm going to do is I'm going to override from the settings from these uh, from the settings to the value which is placed in the Azure configuration. Okay, so in order to do that, what we do, we copy the secrets underscore my secret. So I'll go to the environment variable and exactly create that that hierarchy. Okay, so secrets underscore underscore my secret key. Here I will give you some value. Okay, now what will happen is when Azure is trying to read that config, right? It will read the config and then it will see if the same configuration is present in the environment variable on the Azure environment. If it is there, then this will be overridden by the settings value that you have it, which is in the deployed version. Now what will happen? Instead of reading it from there, it will read the value from here. Okay, so now if I execute, let's see what happens. See? I got the value for the same settings from the environment variable of the web app where it is deployed. Okay. Now that is that is the next interesting thing. Now by using this kind of a syntax, okay, we will be directly accessing the value present in the key vault secret. Okay. So in order to do that, I'm going to replace this URL with the URL that we copied for the secret that we have. Okay, so I'm going to completely remove this URL, put my URL. When I say my URL, I'm just trying to read the secret stored in the Azure Key Vault. Okay, so once you do that, what you have to do is so let's go to this Key Vault. Let's do one by one. Go to secrets and I have only one secret for now and I'm going inside a particular version. I copy this. Now come back. I need to replace it here. Okay, so secret URI, I will replace completely this one. Now I take this completely copied. Okay, this is what I want. Now, if I go to the web application and go to the environment variable. Here, what I'm trying to do is instead of value here, we are putting a value here. I will put that reference URL here because this app is already authenticated to the access the key vault secret by using this reference what it will do is it will read the data from the secret 
and and this will happen during the run time see from this one it came hello hello is the one which is stored in the secret okay so azure key vault reference is super important and very useful feature you can do this for your connection sting you can do this for anything directly retrieving from the secret that is also possible okay so this is also uh, is part of the azure uh, az204 certification under the key vault section so this is something that you should know um so if i change this value and even if i save it you remember the url has a version number see now this is a different version because the url has a version number and that version url is what is stored in the environment variable it will always give you this value however if you change from uh, the the previous version to this version okay see right now it is coming as value from the keyword i copied this version and if i replace uh, the url here which will be pointing to the current version okay then what will happen we expect it to get the latest value of the version that was in the url so if i execute it just some take some time see if i execute again after giving few seconds see it's reading from the latest value okay whatever was cached is not something it is read so it is uh, automatically taking the latest value okay so this is how the key vault reference works you can do the same things for the connection string put the db context here put the connection string in the key vault secret and then you put that reference here everything is going to work okay so we know how this works and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, if you're not subscribed subscribe to my channel if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section i will see you in the next video of the key vault all right thank you guys bye bye Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding.